Hi Taurus, this is going to be your weekly love reading. We have the weight of the world, boundaries. Let it go, it's not yours to carry. So you could be feeling like right now that the weight of the world is on your shoulders. You could have be having a lot of obligations. You might be feeling overwhelmed right now. Um, it might be time for y'all to like take a nice little bath, a bubble bath, or, or not, get in some water and just float or go do float therapy too. You know, there are places um, where you can like go sit in a pod and in it in the water is salt water and you can float and that's actual therapy. So look into that because I feel like it might be healing to you. But anyway, I have like a magnet on my refrigerator that says let it go or be dragged. And that's like a friendly reminder for me personally, like to just let go of things on a daily basis, because, you know, every day is a reset, like whether you know it or not, it's a new day. Every minute is a new moment, right? Every minute is a new moment. So just let that go. So we're going to read weight of the world. And here we go here. It says you don't need to carry it all. You're no good to, to anyone if you're running on empty and bogged down by the weight of the world. This card is a reminder to look after your own well-being before anyone else's, okay? Like when you're on the plane and they say, don't put that, don't help anybody else put their mask on. You put your mask on first, okay? Remember that. It says to stop carrying the weight of the, the world's problems on your shoulders. To put on your, oh, look at this, to put on your oxygen mask first. <laughs> I, I literally just said this and I hadn't even gotten to that point yet. Thank you, Spirit. Um, it says, in these changing times, it's not, it's hard not to feel overwhelmed by the state of the planet. However, you can't take uh, on its problems from a place of energetic deception. This card is thinking, <clears throat> this card is thanking you for carrying so much. You want to build a better world and ease the road for others, and that's incredible. But the way you've been doing it so is likely unsustainable. This isn't to say you shouldn't switch off to the world's problems and become unconscious, but rather it's a call to establish clear boundaries so you're not constantly taken out energetically. The planet needs you to be healthy, both physically and emotionally. So instead of digesting the news or reaching for your phone as you wake up, show up, First, to, nourish, to a nourishing practice, such as meditation, soul inquiry, deep breathing, or exercising in nature. Once you're in a state of grace and your inner, and your inner well is full, you can face the day, the state of the world, and care for others. At the end of the day's end, take an energetic shower by emptying out anything that is not yours to carry. You can pick it up again in the next morning, or you can just leave it where you left it the day before. That's how I feel. Um, if you choose to, but give yourself time and space to rejuvenate and rest. Thank you for that, Spirit. That was a beautiful message. Let that shit go. Let it go. Let it go. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on real quick. <clears throat> what else with you guys? What else here does the collective need to know? got four cards oh this is somebody dealing with oh lord <sighs> okay okay you're dealing with a twin flame here okay you're dealing with a twin flame third party situation somehow some way here and the reason i say third party is because i have two cards that's that are it's third party energy the hand of cards is about options being strategic, hiding something, not showing your hand. Okay, now I'm going to read this in two different ways and you just apply it where it fits. But the hand of cards is also about taking a risk, you know what I mean? Like moving strategically and not showing your hand and, you know, keeping things to yourself and not showing your next move. Okay, this could be the energy that you or your twin flame is in right now. Now, the, here's the energy of seduction, which is which means obviously here this makes total sense because twin flame connections are very, there's, <clears throat> this is like a charismatic, passionate attraction between you and your person, right? There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of flirting, hooking up between the two of you, maybe even a lot of sex between the two of you. But this can also, this card can also speak about feeling tempted too right feeling tempted and drawn because somebody's getting ready to chase you here okay or someone here ran away from a connection that could have either a included a third party 
okay this person could have put you in that third party energy and you're trying to run away from it okay apply that wherever it fits into your story but we'll see what comes out someone here could be feeling abandoned if there was and you know because there's a runner chaser dynamic here and the short the chaser's energy is strong okay so someone here could be getting ready to chase you and they're not showing you that they're or telling you or you're unaware of this this is giving me the energy of like a twin flame making a u-turn somebody is about to bust a yui <laughs> Show me what's going on here for this twin flame connection. Okay. Yeah. Show me more for this twin flame connection. So this is definitely, yeah, what did I say? Chemistry keeps coming up. Strong attraction, strong chemistry. Looks like you're taking a break from this. Okay. Because unplug is here. The attraction you feel is mutual. Uh, yeah, unavailable. Like I said, you're taking a break from this person. You're not talking to them. I don't know where you fall in this, if you're the chaser or you are the runner, but somebody is like, I don't want to talk. And the other person is like, wait, wait, come back. Don't go. <laughs> One more here, please. Spirit. Apology. And look at that. Somebody wants to apologize. What did I say? They're like, wait, please come back. Don't. I'm sorry I couldn't give you what you needed or what you deserved in the past. Show me more here for the collective. Show me more here for the collective and a twin flame. Okay, well, there is some growth happening here. While you're not with your person, you're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your strength. You're, you're, you're finding the strength to hold back from the situation. You're soul searching. You're in this like hermit energy here. You know, this person is like the sun is shining down on them and they're just feeling the rays of the sun. But also this is the energy of like, you know what, spirit take me where I need to be. I want to grow. I want to heal. I want to be balanced. I don't, you know, this could be the energy of you also just focusing on your growth and your stability within yourself. Okay, within yourself. <clears throat> but I feel the energy of, so show me more of someone here. Uh oh. Independence, like I said, you're independent, you're strong, you're, you, you are realizing who you are, or, this, or you're just in this energy right now. Yeah, stopping the pattern, not accepting, unavailable. I don't want to talk. I'm going to focus on me, my independence, me being grounded. Separation, yeah. Separation, you and this person definitely not talking. Somebody's focusing on themselves, their self-love, their self-worth. That's just what it is, okay? This chaser is getting ready to come back. So show me more about this this chaser here. Show me about this chaser. Show me the energy of the chaser. The chaser is being drawn to you. They're having dreams, seeing things. They're very emotional right now. They want to talk, but I don't know if they, they, they're feeling like you are um, <laughs> moon energy here. You, you could be dealing with a cancer, okay? Um, afraid that there might be some issues with rejection again. Yeah, this is that mass energy being strategic, not showing you, you not being aware of this person wanting to come towards you and make a love offer and apologize. This is coming towards you. This person knows that this is a sacred connection. Show me this chaser's energy, please. Show me this chaser's. Yeah, like I said, they want to come towards you. Look at this masked offer and romance and true love. Like I said, this person knows that you would this connect. They know that this is a twin flame connection 
or they might not call it that. They 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 just know that there's a strong attraction to chemistry and they're thinking about you quite a bit. And this person is frustrated. Look at what's on the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> you know, they could be frustrated that you're not talking to them. What's this frustration about? Show me this. Why are they frustrated? Because you're holding back? Yeah. Because you're holding back and you're in this, like I said, this hermit energy, reflecting, growing, self-reliant, in this nine of pentacles energy, focusing on you. Holding, this this person is really upset about that. Why are they frustrated? Now, this could also be them reflecting on how they held back when you, the two of you were together, right? But like I said, I think it's the first one, self-love. They're frustrated that you're holding back to focus on yourself. Yeah, take a step back. All right. Show me this person's next, this, <clears throat> what's this? Abandonment. Yeah, they feel abandoned and you're not talking to them and that you just removed yourself from this situation. What actions will they take towards the collective? What actions will they take towards their collective? What action will they take? All right. First thing that came out was new pathway. Then we have destiny. And then abandonment came out again. This person is going to come back towards you because they feel like this is a distant connection. It looks like to me, new pathway, a new pathway, a new door is opening up because this person is having some trouble. Five of Cups energy. Five of Pentacles energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. What, what, what actions will this person take? Show me more. They're longing and missing you. All right. <clears throat> longing and missing you. And they feel just, why? I mean, well, it is what it is. Show me the actions this person will take towards their twin. Seven of Cups. Scorpio energy. Confusion, illusions, options. What actions will they take? I hope this person doesn't bring any confusion your way. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. This person is confused about whether or not they can do what it takes to make it work or to put in the effort. They want to, but they're confused about it. This person could also be trying to keep themselves busy. They want to, okay, Capricorn, Energy, here, the devil in, re in reverse. This person is actually, somebody's working on themselves. Oh. Somebody could be realizing that they did need to do some work trying to come out of this devil energy, which is good. What, what actions will they take? Or this could be detachment. What actions? The Gemini magician energy. This is good. <clears throat> Show me what other actions. The death card in reverse. Scorpio energy, Gemini energy with the magician. Leo energy with the strength card. The Taurus card, which is the hair font. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Bottom of the deck is a Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about, okay, I've, I've planted these seeds. I'm waiting on this harvest to grow. Is it ready? Is it ready? Waiting energy here for sure. Waiting. More waiting energy here. Waiting up at night. Need. I know I need to take some action here. Um, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. energy of holding back <clears throat> this person is trying to find the strength to change but it just looks like they there are so much there are some beliefs here that just aren't working for this person you know 
Spirit is telling them what they need to do here, but they're not. They clarify this death card in reverse. Okay, the world. My, by the way, there's a lot of major arcana here. So, three of swords. So, somebody's heart broken over in the ending here. Um, there's a, a cycle ending. Yeah, they're an ending for sure. An ending for sure. Heartbreak. Libra energy. Strong Leo. Strong Taurus. Strong Scorpio. All right. So, somebody's heart broken over this ending. And, they, and also heart broken over the fact that they held back here. The emperor, okay, because they wanted to be in control. Could be dealing with an Aries. Why is the Hierophant here? I feel like the Hierophant is here before because of a Eight of Cups. Yeah, walking away from toxic stuff. You walking away. Why is the Hierophant here? This was the lesson. The lesson in this was somebody was supposed to walk away. But they're like, no, wait, don't go. There's so much chemistry and attraction here. Please don't go. Somebody wants to still stay attached to you physically and sexually too. This they, this could be also what they're longing and missing. So since you walked away from this person, they can't stop thinking about this Ace of Wands. And they want a new beginning with you. Bottom of the deck is Aries, Aquarius, Energy, the Fool. So they want a new beginning. The Lovers. More Gemini energy here. This is strong, passionate connection here. Nine of Cups. There's a wish fulfillment. Ace of Cups. Well, they want new love. The hangman. They're seeing something from a different perspective. All right. Let's get a few more cards and then we'll end this reading. What else does, do we need to know about this twin flame connection? Somebody is... So you're dealing with somebody here who wanted to just do what they wanted to do. They want to hang out in the streets. They, when they, you know, or maybe this person has been hanging out in the street. Yeah, but you're like, no, I'm, 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 I'm stable, right? I, I, I'm busy. I'm booked and busy. And this other person is in this energy of always partying, maybe even drinking quite a bit or whatever, right? But somebody here feels lonely. So this person could be trying to, you know, be out in the streets doing whatever to keep their mind occupied because they're on the inside feeling lonely. But you are in this energy again, like I said, of growth, self-love, independence. Show me this. Yeah. This person is, I'm telling you, somebody could also be getting their karma here. They're, this person is thinking back. Memory, Six of Cups energy. If this person comes back towards you, be careful. Because that mass offer here, I don't know, dirty offer. Then we have, I destroyed and deleted our photos when I got upset with you and now I regret it. They definitely regret it. Okay. They definitely regret it. Denial, not facing the truth, irrational reason. So this person, ref hold on, I dropped the card. Ugh. I got to go get it, y'all. Hold on. Yeah, this person is obsessively, <clears throat> this person is obsessively thinking about you or somebody has some obsessive, karmic third party around them or this person this is you them obsessively thinking about you um and then like i said they're trying to keep themselves busy through work okay trying to improve their finances arrogant yeah it's like this person denied it's like they want to wanted to keep you in this, this confusion because they were trying to deny this connection. But it's like, well, you, so you decided to focus on yourself and, and this arrogant energy that this person has. You know, they really want to talk to you and text you, but they keep deleting them because they're afraid that you're going to reject them in some way, you know, but they're writing and deleting text messages to you. And this is their ego getting in the way, basically. 
they've also created some form of a so they go stay in this energy of denial and arrogance and ego and but but sit back and watch you on social media on instagram or on twitter or on facebook or something and create a fake account so this person would rather just sit in the background yeah what is this Secret love. I'm keeping my love for you a secret. It's too complicated to explain. That's that denial. That's that denial. Not facing the truth. Show me more. All right. <clears throat> Don't. This person doesn't want you to lose hope. You know, there are, you know, this person, I'm telling you, it's so hard to figure out. It's like they're giving you mixed signals or this person could have given you mixed signals in the past, but I feel like you're over these mixed signals, by the way. What does this person want to say to their twin? I've been dreaming of you even when I'm wide awake. Yeah, that's that obsessive thinking. I find myself looking at old photos and text messages and remembering how happy we were. Yeah, exactly. I regret how I treated you in the past. It wasn't right or moral. Please let me show you I've changed. But we saw that that death card in reverse. I don't know if they've changed. I know what they want. And then it says you were in my dreams last night again. So heavy on the regret, heavy on the um, I'm think can't stop thinking about you. I can't sleep. I'm doing everything I can to not think about you. I'm doing everything to try to deny this. But, I, but they know what they did. They know what they're doing. You know what I mean? They, I feel like this person is, the karma that this person is facing literally is, they can't stop thinking about you. And they're, be, they're you know, also they can't stop thinking about this one. That's going to be your reading. Um, I love you guys. Bye.